So are you ready to see how you can take an image or a photo? It can come off your camera. It can be something that you download from the computer and turn it into a paint effect. Make it look like it's been actually painted. There are many, many options in Canva, and I'm going to show those to you today. And I'm going to use some different formats, buildings, country, animals, people, things like that. So you can just see the effects that it has. You're going to be like, it's so awesome. All right. You're going to love it. <laughs> All right. Let's get to Canva. Let's go on over and get right down to it. You have the ability to search right here for what size you want your, the background to be to hold your photo. So if you're putting something on, obviously Instagram or YouTube or Facebook, go ahead and type that in like Instagram and it will give you the exact size that you need and be ready to post. And you know what? You can even post it from here. Look at my video above and I'll show you how to do that. It is so easy. All right, let's go. I'm, I've, I put mine on presentation mode because I just wanted a bigger screen so that you can see. Now, what I did is I just uploaded a bunch of different photos. I actually took them off of Google. A couple of them, I did go outside to my yard and just took some different pictures um, just to see what an actual photo from my phone would look like. But this is just something I grabbed off the internet. Um, let's click the photo, all right? Anytime you want to put the paint feature on any of them, and then you're going to go over here to where it says edit image. When you get into edit image, now there's lots and lots of neat things that you can do, but do not be tempted. Keep going down, 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 down. Don't just, just pass all that because there's tons of things you can do. You can play with that later. We're going under paint effects, okay? So I'm going to say see all. There's so many different things that you can do. Look at this. You can take this photo. You see all these cupcakes, and you can turn it into any of these. So I want this one to look a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to use that one. It's called the windlet. And let's see what happens. Look at that. It looks like somebody painted it, doesn't it? Pretty cool. Now, if you want to keep it, you slide down over here on the left. I don't have it on my screen, but there's a little button down there that says apply. And that's what you want to hit. Okay. This one time, I'm going to show you how to go back. We're actually just going to click another picture. Um, but for the sake of time, I may cut some of that out. Yeah, every time you have to click the image, go back up here to edit image and go back down to paint. The one I picked, this one is called Retrato. And there you can see it. Beautiful. Just totally changes that image. Let's try two little elephants next. There's your before picture. Let's do something a little different here. We're going to give it a mosaic look. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So, you know, you can make it look painted or mosaic, anything you want over here. You can see all the different things. Let's try. Um, what would we, what would something from the wildflowers look like? Like, how could we change that? We're going to click it. Let's go back and check, see what we can find. That was called Punta, or Punto, Punto, and totally just changed the whole look. It gives you a, yeah, it looks more of a modern type of painting. Let's try this one and try something else. Here we go. Edit image. This one here is actually flowers from the inside of my garden along the fence. Um, and here, I just want to show you each time you have these pictures, you have the opportunity to copy them, paste them, delete them, uh, animate them. You can add comments or just set this image as a background for something. So you do have those choices um, that are sitting here. And look at that. It just totally doesn't even look like the same picture. And here's another one out in the, the wilderness. There's some wildflowers. And I've got one more after this. So hang in there. I just want you to see how what these all do. Again, it totally changed it. I'm going to take that same picture and do a window. That was the first one that we did. That does give it more of a, a painting effect as opposed to turning it into something abstract. Interesting. That did the same thing. It, it turned it more into an abstract. That's really pretty, though. All right, we have one left. I was wondering what it would do to a cartoon. Now you're, I'm aging myself. I actually, these were actually on TV when I was young. Um, and I, if you don't know who they are, maybe you can look it up. Tell me in the comments below, who are these two characters? All right, and that shows me that you hung in there to see all these different things and you're going to date yourself. So be careful. All right, um, let's go ahead and give this a painted effect. I think that's my favorite one. It really takes the painting or the image and really makes it look like it's painted. That one's called Windell. I called it Windlit the first time, but it's called Windell. And I want to go back and take my flowers and do the same thing. So one thing we're learning, if it's there aren't enough lines in it, you're not going to get as um it's not going to look as much as it did, just like it did on the cartoon. 
um, there were very decisive lines in there when it when it changed it. Where here, um, it gives it more. I like that though. It gives it more of an um, abstract effect. And that's all I have for you today. Have fun. Go in there. Remember, just click the image, go under edit image, and you can go under and use the paint effect. And the neat thing is after you start playing with it, it'll pop up is your recently used. So you don't have to keep sliding down. You can just keep selecting it from here. Earlier I was doing frames. So it's just going to pick those things up. There's lots more in there. Go in. Like I said, use your free account, play around. Use the try free trial down below and, and see what the difference is and see if it's for you. If it's not something you're going to use, then don't get it. But um, definitely if you're on here all the time on social media and you're constantly, you know, making pictures and doing things, then you definitely need to have it. All right, guys. Thank you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.